Now that you have a basic idea of what the drum machine designer is, let's take a closer look at the drum grid. I'm going to hide the uh, smart controls just so we can concentrate on the drum grid here at the top. As I said in the overview tutorial, the drum grid has 32 cells, 16 in page one and then 16 in page two. And in each one of the cells, it has a different drum or percussion sound. And if you click on the cell, you can trigger the sound. You'll notice as I click on it, the cell highlights, but you'll also notice that as I mouse over different cells, this M and this S pops up on the cell. Now that M and that S stands for mute and solo. So if I hit the M on this ride symbol, it grays out and I can't click and play that symbol. It is now muted. If I unmute it and hit the S, the S turns yellow. Everything else gets a blinking M on it because everything else is muted and now the ride is soloed. Even if I go to page two, everything over here is muted also. Let me unsolo that. Click back up here. Now, if I play this MIDI region, this is the pattern that I recorded in the last tutorial. If I play this, you'll notice all of the sounds that are playing in it, the kick, the hi-hat, and then there's a snare over here in uh, the second page of the grid. They are lighting up. So if I wanted to mute one, like the hi-hat, I hit the M and now that's muted. If I wanted to solo it, I just hit the S and now it's soloed. And of course that will work on any of them. Solo the kick or mute the kick. And the same will work on the snare, of course. Now the way that the drums are organized in the grid is based on a general MIDI standard. I'll talk about that in a second. But you can reorganize your drum sounds to put, place them where you want them to be. So let's say, for instance, I want to move this siren sound down closer to the snare sound. Now, I'm going to move it and just drop it over top of that click. And the click moves up and the siren moves and everything just reshuffles and organizes itself. But notice, remember I mentioned that general MIDI standard that each cell has a note assigned to it. The snare is D1. Now this siren was B2. It always was B2. No matter where I move it, if I move it all the way over here, the cell still is assigned to B2. That means that I have to play a B2 on my keyboard to actually trigger that siren. So reorganizing or moving around, reordering the cells, only affects the display, the, what you see visually. It doesn't affect the playback. So if I move this hi-hat over here and move the kick up here, the kick is not going to play in the hi-hat pattern. It's still triggering this because that's still at F sharp one, and this is still at C one. Now I mentioned general MIDI earlier. Let me explain that. I'm going to first define it and then try to put it in lay terms for you. General MIDI is a standard specification for music synthesizers that respond to MIDI messages. General MIDI specifications define features for MIDI content and playback devices so that content will playback the same on all compatible devices. What does that mean in lay terms? In lay terms, it's basically a map for where sounds go in the general MIDI setting. So. As I moved some of these cells around, like I moved this kick here and the hi-hat here, the actual note that that kick is assigned to didn't change. It's still assigned to C1 and this hi-hat is still assigned to F sharp one. That's because they are in the correct place for the general MIDI drum settings. If I load in another kit into uh, my drum machine designer, that's a general MIDI drum kit, the kick will be on C1. There will be a snare on D1. There will be a clap on D sharp one. Those notes or those sounds or a version of that sound will always be assigned to that particular place in your MIDI protocol. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to exchange some drum kits and you'll see that when I load in a new drum kit, it will fall 
into the standard general MIDI protocol. And even though I program this pattern using this kit, it will still play back virtually the same with different sounds assigned to it. 